Flying in the Face of Tradition, the story of Katherine Stinson. I always loved flying. I used to run outside and watch the planes go overhead and think, one day, I would fly one of those planes. I met Amelia Earhart when I was 15 years old and I told her I wanted to be a pilot. She said that I ought to become an engineer because there was no money in piloting. So that's what I did. It didn't take girls to stay. In fact, when I first talked to Dr. Riddick, he said, little girl, you're at the wrong school. You belong over in Greensboro. And I said, well, I want to be an engineer. And he said, oh, she says, girls don't be engineers. But uh, we just don't take girls here at state. And I said, but I have to go to state because I met Amelia Earhart recently, and she told me I should study aeronautical engineering. I wasn't sure what she was talking about, but uh, I found out that I could take it here at State, and it never occurred to me that they wouldn't take me because I was a girl. It was strange being the first engineer for the CAA. When they sent me on assignment, no one expected me. They were always looking for a man. But I guess I did a good job because by the time I retired in 1973, I was the Chief of Specifications in the FAA's Office of Aviation Safety. Katherine Stinson's story is powerful for both men and women in engineering at North Carolina State University. It's a story of, of hope and perseverance and persistence and it's something that encourages you when you feel a little discouraged. I think every student has a, a sense of what am I doing, can I make it, can I really do this task that's ahead of me, and that ability to endure and to be empowered to do that is something that is a thread in the Katherine Stinson story. My name is Drake Powell and thank you for watching this video about Katherine Stinson, created by Amanda Finn for NC State Special Collections.